Welcome to this configured terminal presentation. My name is David Bombal, CCIE 11023. This is a short sample from our CCNA voice training course, which you can find at configuredterminal.com. In this sample, we're going to look at date and time groups, which affect the lives of telephony users. Multiple phones in different parts of the world may connect back to the same Cisco Unified Communications Manager cluster and thus the requirement to configure multiple date and time settings for various phones. Different parts of the world also display the date and time differently. So this is a very common requirement in an IP telephony environment. In the full course we discuss the initial CUCM configuration in a lot more detail. Our CCNA voice training course prepares you for the ICOM 640-461 exam which is a requirement for the Cisco CCNA voice qualification. I hope you enjoy the short sample from our CCNA voice training course. Let's get started. Let's start off talking about time and then how the date time group can affect the time displayed on phones. This is important because you could have phones connected to the same cluster in different countries and thus in different time zones or within for instance the US being within different time zones. Firstly it's recommended that you use NTP or Network Time Protocol. The publisher server should be configured with an NTP server so that it can synchronize its clock to that NTP server. NTP will ensure that the clocks do not drift and are synchronized via NTP to an atomic clock. Date and time stamps on call logs are very important both for billing purposes and auditing purposes. In my experience users get very upset if the time on their phones is incorrect and thus you need to configure the date and time properly on the handsets. Subscribers in a cluster get their time from the publisher and phones get their time from the subscriber that they registered to. Once again you could have multiple subscribers in a cluster with phones registered to different subscribers. Under the system menu going to date time group will allow me to configure different date and time groups for different time zones. By default when a CUCM is installed, a default date time group is automatically configured as CM local. CM local synchronizes to the active date and time of the operating system on the server where the CUCM is installed. After installing CUCM, you can change this. However, it's recommended that you do not change CM local rather create your own date and time groups. This server is physically located in the UK. Let's create two date and time groups, one for a phone in London and one for a phone in New York. So I'll click Add New. You need to specify a name. Notice everything with a star or asterisk is mandatory. So I'm going to call this London underscore date time group. Get used to using a notation such as this one to differentiate between different parts of the CUCM configuration. We are going to create a London date time group, a London device pool, a London calling search space and a whole bunch of other entries with the name London. If you only use the word London or the word New York it's going to get really confusing when looking at the configuration on the CUCM server. The time zone in this example is correct. This server is physically located in the UK so GMT time is correct. Now a separator you specify the option that applies to the country you're in. We're going to use a slash for the UK. Now in the US the date format preferred is month, day, year. But in the UK, the preferred layout is day, month, year. 
in the UK it's also preferred to use a 24-hour format so we're going to select that and then we're going to click Save you can see the ad was successful and you're asked to click on the reset button to have the changes take effect so I'm going to click on reset notice it says that no devices are associated to restart I'll show you in a moment how you can use date time group within a device pool and then allocate devices like telephones to that device pool for now just understand that you can create different date time groups and then specify different options including the time zone and the layout for that date time group so let's add another date time group this is going to be specified as New York date time group for the time zone we're going to specify America New York will also choose a slash as the separator and then leave it in the format of month day year we will also specify the time format in 12 hour format rather than 24 hour format and click Save clicking on go to find list shows me that I have the CM local date time group as well as the London Daytime Group and New York Daytime Group. Now it's important that not only are the date and time group set correctly, but when installing the CUCM, that the correct date and time be set on the server or an NTP server be used, and that the correct time zone be configured properly during installation of the CUCM. Time is one of those things that can give you a lot of headaches especially as I've mentioned users are adamant that the time on their phones be correct now in our example the CUCM is in the UK we're gonna put this phone 1000 in the London date and time group and this phone in the New York date and time group let's see if we can get the date and time to display correctly as well as the format of the date and time. Now when setting up the date and time on the CUCM you create a date and time group which we've now done. To associate the date and time group with the phone you have to associate the date and time group with what's called a device pool. A device pool is essentially a grouping of devices with common characteristics. So rather than changing the settings on let's say 200 phones you put those phones into a device pool and make changes on the device pool which then makes that change on all 200 phones in one go it's kinda of like groups where you put devices into a group and make changes on the group rather than on the individual devices so we are going to associate our phones with a device pool and associate the date and time group with that device pool the time on the phone is affected by which device pool it's allocated to by the date and time group associated with that device pool as well as the date and time on the CUCM as well as the time zone of the CUCM you have to get all of this correct to be able to get the right date and time on a phone so on the system menu going to device pool will allow us to configure device pools at the moment there's a default device pool and notice CM local date time group is associated with the default device pool let's create two new device pools one for London and one for New York so London device pool options once again with a star or asterisk are required fields so I'll select the default Cisco Unified Communications Manager group and I'll explain more about that in a moment you'll notice there are other options here but the important one that we're looking at is date time group so I'm going to specify the London date time group 
I'll explain what regions are in a moment. It's another required field. I'll also explain SRST. We'll just set that to use default gateway. And as you can see here, there are multiple options that can be configured on a device pool. I'll click Save. Let's add another device pool for New York. So New York device pool. Specify the group once again. In this case we're going to specify the New York date time group. We can specify the region. I'm going to set it as default. Specify the SRST reference just to use default gateway and then click save. So we have associated the date time group with the device pool. Now we can associate the phones with their respective device pools. The CUCM time zone and time have already been configured during installation. So on device phone, this phone is our London phone. On the left hand side we can see the line which allows to allocate telephone numbers to the phone. You can see it's got a number of 1000. On the right hand side we can see the device configuration including its device name, description, various other configuration options. But what we're looking for is the device pool which we're going to set to the London device pool. I'm going to save that configuration but notice what the CUCM says. We need to apply the config button to have the changes take effect. So saving will just save it to the database. To apply it to the phones, we have to click on the apply config option. So the CUCM says that we should save our config before continuing and a device may be restarted. So let's click OK. Going back to find list we can select our second phone so 1001 and we can now select the device pool as the New York device pool click save click OK to the message Click apply config to apply it to the phone and click OK. So let's start up our phones and see if the correct date and time is applied. So both IP communicators are starting up. And as you can see here, 1000 which is in London has a time of 0743. The date format is 2304 2011. The phone in New York has a time of 244 AM. So this is using 12 hour format, but the UK phone is using 24 hour format. The US phone is using month, month, day, day, year, year, whereas the UK phone is using day, day, month, month, year, year as its date format. The time has successfully been set on both phones. Just be aware of the following. You can change the time on the CUCM by going to Cisco Unified OS Administration and under settings as long as you don't have NTP service configured notice here there are zero records you can go to settings time and specify the date and time of the server. Also note the following. Opening up an SSH connection to the CUCM I'll be able to see the time on the server at the moment but you can also see the following information. Show time zone 
And notice there's the option of list or config. You can see the various time zones on the server. Or show time zone config will allow you to see the current configuration on the server. Doing the command set time zone and then specifying one of these numbers allows you to change the time zone of the server. Once again doing that will force a restart so it's best to set the time zone correctly from the beginning. So we have set up the time correctly based on all of these configuration options. So looking at our phones I can see the time in New York is just after 3 a.m. and 8 a.m. in London. Using a website like Date and Time I can see that the current date and time of London is 8.01 which is correct on my phone and on the US phone it's 3.01 which is also correct. Date and Time on these two phones has successfully been configured using the options of date and time group and device pool. That concludes our sample of date and time configuration within the Cisco Unified Communications Manager. This is a short sample from our CCNA voice training course. For more free information please visit our blog at configureterminal.com you can also purchase the full CCNA voice training course from our website at configureterminal.com. All the best with your studies and thank you for watching.